Welcome to Linkernicity, where your journey and destiny link. I'm Stacey Kumagar, Linkologist, and I'm here to help you link your life. Today, lovely souls, we are going to be linking to the art of reflection. And I want to do this video today uh, based on where you might be right now on your journey and this whole metamorphosis process and everything you just went through. Because reflection has a very important place in your life. It actually helps you create your future and live in the present from a different perspective and lens. So we're going to be talking about reflection today as it relates to your past, your present, and your future. We're going to multitask it. <laughs> So um, I bring this up for a very specific reason, because I know for a lot of you, you're doing the exhale right now. And what I mean by that in the exhale is, you know, it's been grueling as you've been dealing with your metamorphosis and your ascension and your higher level awareness and consciousness and next level elevation of where you're going, uh, for what you're going to be doing and your own self-awareness work for the mind, body, soul, spirit, health, well-being journey. So reflection has its place. Reflection has its place and I wanted to tackle this because I know your human sometimes um, might get get into a, um, how should I say, like a melancholy place of reflection because it's natural to grieve your human self. And it's natural to grieve the 1.0 that you left behind because you've graduated to the 2.0 human soul in union connection. And sometimes that's a difficult spot. It's a difficult spot. And it's difficult for those going through the journey as the continuous work in process. And it's also difficult for people to embrace ascension because it kind of isolates you from the earthly plane existence, from what your 1.0 self used to be. And sometimes it's lonely. Sometimes it's frustrating because you want everybody else to level up. Uh, sometimes it's, you know, uh, confusing as to how to gear shift and how you're supposed to be flexible and adaptable um, with your new self and how to morph and be the different versions of things in these different places when you only know there's only one way to be and that's you as your true self, your authentic self. Um, so anybody who feels as if they need to be some sort of different version really hasn't fully yet embraced or adopted the 2.0 because they're still floundering in the 1.0, 2.0 stuckness. Let's call it that um, in terms of functioning. So reflection is really important and I call it the art of reflection because the art of reflection is just that it's an art. So as you take time to look at your old 1.0 life and you're reflecting on memories of how you function, how you were reacted to certain situations, the actions that you took in those past existences, uh, ex the experience of yourself, it's, it's important to not only acknowledge them so you can accept them, but also know that just because you've purged and you've released and you've healed doesn't mean you need to bury the 1.0 self under the rug and pretend like it didn't exist. No, instead it's an art because you have to celebrate who you were to become who you are right now. And that's important. That's important not only for your self-worth, your, your value, your core principles, your, your foundation of stability and security and understanding that you're still you. You're still you. You're just a new and improved you. <laughs> Which, ironically, was you all along. You were born perfect, right? You were born perfect with the purity of what you came into this existence with. But it got tweaked along the way because of 
experiences, trauma, whatever you went through, right? And you had to, you morphed into this version of yourself that you didn't like enough to want to change yourself to returning. So it's like a 180 to a 360 for uh, pedestrian terms. <laughs> Welcome, regular humans. <laughs> so that's how we, that's how we can confront it and acknowledge it, embrace it, and receive it, and accept it, but also look at our next level change as a way to use reflection as a tool now. Reflection can be your friend, and it could be guidance, it could be your GPS, it could be your map of sorts to help you see and feel and understand in this, in your psyche, in your heart, not only where you've been, but how to be really more self-assured with who you are right now to that future that we don't like to talk about too much of your next adventure of where you're going. Because you're staying present all the time, right? You're staying present. You're staying present right now and in two minutes from now, that's now the past that you can reflect upon. See how it works? It's a it's an in motion it's an in motion process. So what we're gonna do today to help you really come to terms with it all is we're gonna do the three columns. And the first column, we're gonna put things that you're reflecting on right now. In the second column, we're going to put how those experiences as the human 1.0 self have shape-shifted you into who you are, present day, present moment, 2.0 self, and what that means for your life and what you've learned and how you've applied this growth process to defining your journey. In the third column, it's going to be empty for a little while, but in your third column, as you start to continue to accept and embrace and understand your reflection for where you are now and where you're going, where you think you're going. In the third column, every time you come to a new epiphany, start writing down the epiphany or the awareness or the aha or the revelation that you're having as to what you're reflecting upon and how it's shaped you and really clarified for you the you that you love right now. And I, I do want you to put it in those terms. Who you love right now as you. And you're honestly going to be coming to terms with the love that you had for yourself as the 1.0, the love for you, how you have for yourself as the 2.0, and what that's going to do for your future. Again, I know, we're staying present. We're not supposed to look too far ahead. But what that's going to bring to the table in terms of your own evolution. So the art of reflection has its beautiful place. Not to make you sad. I mean, you can feel it. So if you're feeling sad, go through the emotion and own it and feel it and work through it. But you don't need to stay stuck there. You don't need to stay stuck there. Which is why I wanted to do this exercise because that's how important it is. As we're continuing to go through met the metamorphosis process and ascend, it's sometimes confusing to get stuck there and almost feel paralyzed with indecision because the nostalgia kicks in as you're reflecting. It's where it's like, mm. and it's, it's hard because moving forward here is a lot of unknown, a lot of unmapped territory, uh, and may not have all of the roads even paved yet because you haven't paved them so this is how we turn reflection into an art so you can actually confront it deal with it so you can now use it as a tool as you move forward it's actually the the reflection is actually helping you you have to move backwards to move forward okay so first column second column third column this is how we do this. We were navigate this way, so we can navigate this way. And it's going to really help you go, ah, 
I feel so much better because you're not spinning in this old space of reflection, reflection, nostalgia, nostalgia, reflection, reflection, grieving your old life to the point where you can't even accept your new person as a celebration. And I say that because as you're emerging out of this cocoon, it's so new that it feels vulnerable. It feels um, like you're really raw, like you're a raw nerve. You're exposed in this thing with no map. And that's scary, I know, but we know that fear is not real, right? And we know that you can trust yourself, and we know that you now have a brand new comfort zone, because this is now all you're gonna really know once you realize you're not going back here. Because you're here. And you're going you're going here. But right now you're you're living here. So try out that exercise to see if it gives you more clarity and if it gives you more confirmation and see how that actually defines your experience as you're doing the art of reflection. And find something in this that you can add to that third column that makes it beautiful. If you can come up with a description of what makes that beautiful, you are now turning that reflection into art. Therefore, redefining what we talked about as we started this video, linking to the art of reflection. You're now going to see its purpose beyond the purpose for you going beyond the beyond and beyond. <laughs> so now you can make it fun instead of feeling like it's stuck energy, stagnant energy, complacent energy. It now has movement. So the past has movement into your present. It's whirling about, crafting, creating, formulating, recalculating um, as you're developing your own sense of your vision for your future. So try that out, lovely souls. Hit me up on social media or go to linkernicity.com and drop me some comments or questions about this process in the, in the connect section and, and I'll be able to address that even further as you deal with this part of the, the process and the acceptance of what your reflection actually is creating. I'm Stacy Kumagari, Linkologist, here to help you link your life. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Linkernicity, blogspot.com, and go to linkernicity.com for private coaching sessions. I hope you have a beautiful day linking to your art of reflection. <laughs>